You're sure this guy's a Christian? Yeah, I think so. Truth. What's going on? I got Geeks. Jesus loves you. My name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to help support the show, you can always go to agapegeeks.spreadshirt.com. And the first thing that I want to talk about today is reality TV. Like, if you watch television, you know that reality TV has been, like, huge the last few years. Like, so much that Cartoon Network actually made a cartoon about reality TV. For whatever reason. But the reason that I'm bringing up reality television is because, along with all the other shows that have been popping up, Christian reality television shows have also been popping up recently. And the newest Christian reality TV series is going to be called Snake Salvation, and it is about people who handle snakes, and it's it's a whole thing. See, there are denominations in Christianity that have their own take on Mark 16. In Mark chapter 16, there is a verse that you might be kind of familiar with that pretty much says that Christians will cast out demons, they'll talk in tongues, handle serpents, and they can drink poisons and it won't kill them. And so there are many Christians out there like myself who look at that verse and they don't think I should definitely be handling snakes and drinking poison. That That's what makes me a Christian. But there are other people out there that do, and they believe they should test their faith by handling poisonous snakes and drinking poison and all of that kind of stuff. I believe that's testing God a little bit, but hey, whatever floats your boat. I guess it's not exactly, like, anti-Christian to handle snakes, so why not? My only problem with this being a reality TV series is that people have such a deluded idea of what Christianity is in the first place, and so you're taking one of the most obscure things in our faith and making that a reality TV series and shaping people's minds about what Christianity is through that. I just think it'd be much more awesome if we had a reality TV series on maybe like street preachers that don't suck or people going on missions. Stuff that just kind of brings to light what the Christian faith is all about. And then our next story brings us to Egypt and I should have talked about this a couple days ago but I didn't catch it before we actually uploaded the video. You may have already heard but Egypt has gone crazy. And there are so many different takes on what exactly is going on right now but what it looks like is that the government's military forces went and tried to break up some pro morsi protests. And again, who knows what started what, but 525 is the biggest number I could find on how many people have died on Wednesday because of this. Now, I say the highest number that I could find because the number is actually probably up in the thousands, but 525 are only ones that are officially confirmed dead. And Coptic Christians are claiming that they are staying out of this whole mess, but a lot of Muslims are blaming those Christians for getting rid of Morsi in the first place. So what started as like a peaceful protest going violent most likely turned into just all out violence to anyone and everyone, including the Christians as well. Now with the official number of the dead, I wasn't able to figure out which ones were Christian and which ones were Muslim, but does it really, really matter? Like whether they're a Christian or Muslim or government forces, they're all still dead. Anyone who's kind of been paying attention to Egypt since all of this kind of started has been waiting for something like this to happen. And honestly, the chances are that things will probably get a lot worse before they get better. And so I guess the point is prayers out to Egypt. And then our final story of the day is about a law that will be taking place January 1st in California. The law has been made for transgender students from K through 12. And pretty much what the law does is whether you're a boy or a girl, you get to decide which bathroom or sports you feel more comfortable doing. So if you are a male and you feel female, then you can go into the women's bathroom or play in women's sports. And there is no professional decision. This is just like the person saying this is where they want to be and then that is okay. And honestly, I find this really, really weird. Like I would get if there was a professional decision and there was someone who knew what they were doing to like ask the child and be like, okay, this is where that kid belongs. But I just know without a professional decision, like middle school me or any other middle school boy in the entire world would be like, I, I belong in the women's locker room with the girls who are naked. Like, it just amazes me that this is even a thing that kids get to just choose which bathroom they want to go to. And again, like, I get why they're doing it, and I get, like, equality and all of that, but not having a professional decision of any kind just sounds really, really dumb to me. And that brings us to the question of the day, which brings us back to our first story of the day, and that is, what do you think about Christian reality TV shows? Personally, I think if they were done right, they could be very beneficial to the faith, but I think they're done very, very wrong. As always, I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Leave a video response if you want to. My name is Cody Armour, bringing news to the Christian community every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody, like, subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless.